Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Contact Form module. So before we dive into this tutorial, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Divi, I highly recommend getting it. I have 10% off with a special link below, and that's WPWithTom.com slash Divi. And I also wanted to mention that I'll be posting videos covering all of the Divi modules here and how to use them and just basically going over the basics of each of the modules. So with this quick intro out of the way, let's dive into the Divi contact form module. So when we scroll down on this page, this is just a mock website here. We can go and see that right down here at the bottom, we can just add in a contact form pretty easily. So to get started, let's go and add a background image first. And I'll go through the whole section and the module itself with the contact form. So if we click add new section here, I'm going to go and click regular. And then I'm actually not going to insert a module or anything like that. I'll just go insert row. And then I'll click out of this where it says insert module. So right here, I'm going to then go and click on section settings, background. And I'm going to select an image here and add background image and I'm going to choose one from the library so this one's off center to the right and I'm going to use this so the image is to the right and the contact form and the title of the contact form is going to be to the left so let's see how this comes together here if I go and upload an image you can then see if we just click on the check mark that there it is you can't see the full image right now but that's fine here we're going to need to add a single row actually I'm going to go and make it a double row so I'm going to change the layout right here to two wide and what I'm going to do here is just go and click the plus and I'm going to add some text in here. So let's go down here to text all the way at the bottom. And here I'm just going to make this say something like contact me today. Something simple like that just for this example. And then what I'm going to do is go over to where it says design. Actually, let's go and center it first and then we'll go over to design. And then in this area, I'm going to go to text. And here I'm going to go and change some things. So if we want to, we can make it darker. We can make it fully black right here in the text color. And we can change the text weight. I'm going to go and make it bold. And then I'll make the size bigger as well. Let's just go and make it like, I don't know, 35, something like that looks good. And here we'll click Save Changes. So again, it doesn't look like a whole lot right here because we can't see this person. But once we go and add in a new row, I'm going to add a two wide row again. We're going to be able to add our contact module here and it's going to by default go on the left side first so let's go to contact form and then you can see the image a lot better on the right side so you can see that it actually fills up pretty nicely right here and it looks like a decent contact form section if you want it you can add padding to the bottom or top to fit it a little bit better but i'm going to leave it as is and just focus on this contact form right now and the basic changes that we can make so the first thing that I'm going to go over here is that we have the name field right here, email address and message. If you want to add additional fields, you can click add field and name the field and add a title as well. And you can change things in the field options, such as change how it is. It's an input field, email field, text area is going to be a larger one. There are going to be check boxes. So if you see right here, it gives you new field with the check boxes and you can add additional ones right here. And checkbox two i'll just call this so you can see you can add different types in here i'm actually going to go and delete that and delete that one as well and i'm going to go back right here and if we go up it says field four i'm going to go and delete that out that's that new field right there with the check boxes so you can add them very easily right there you can also go and click in here and let's just say you want to change the title so the title says name right here you could go and just say first name as an example so let's just change that first name and you can see it shows up right here on the form itself. So to go back, you can go and click right here on this button to go back and then change other ones as needed. And if you see down here, it says success message, we can go and change that. So if you wanted to learn more about each of these, you can click on it. It says the type of message you want to display after a successful form submission. So basically you can leave it blank for the default and they have a default one set up. But if you wanted to say like, we just received your message. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can put that in here. That's similar to what the default one is anyway, but then you can do that if you want. 
you also can go down here to email address and this is probably the most important one that you're going to need to fill out because this is where your emails are going to be sent to so you might want to put like me at my email.com as an example so you wanted to go to your email right here and that's the address that you're going to put in email address here down here is another important one it's spam protection and it says use basic captcha so i recommend that and that's this 5 plus 10 equals 15 down here that you would see if you turn that off you can see it goes away i recommend that you do this because it does prevent the amount of spam emails that you're going to get now down here you can also change the background color as well i'll just show you what it looks like it doesn't look great in this example right now i'm going to revert it back to this and i'm really not going to change a whole lot in this form but i wanted to go over some of these basics within the content section over here. So if we go over to design, we're gonna have some more options over here. And I'll just show you if you wanna change the fields itself. If you click on this, it says field background color. So you can see that we have this color on most of our site. If we went and we change that, we can make it something similar to that. And you could actually go and grab the hex code from a button or something like that. But I'm just gonna go and change it and make it similar to the color right there, just as this example. And then you could change the field text color. It's something that you might want to do on your website. I'm actually going to go and change it back to how it was. So we can just click right here to revert it back and here as well to revert back. But you can change those fields pretty easily. The thing that I do want to change here, if you want it to, you can change the text, things like that. But I'm going to go down to the button and I'll use custom styles for the button. And here I am going to actually go and grab the hex code from this right here. So if I went and clicked on here, I went to design button, and then I can click on here and grab this code right out of here, copy it. And what I'll do is I'll just X out of there and I'll go back into here, design in our contact form button, the custom styles right here, it says button background. We'll just go and click this and we'll paste that code in right here. And now you can see that it gives the background color to this of that orange color. So it doesn't look great because of how the rest of the button is right here. So let's go down here and it says button border color. You can go and change that if you want. I'm going to go and just make it transparent like that. And then I'm also going to go and change the icon. I'll toggle this button icon off. So when you hover over it, you can see that it gives this little blue arrow right now. If you wanted that to be something else, you can change it within here. There's tons of options, but I'm gonna go and toggle that off. And then the other thing I wanted to do is go and change the button text color right here to be white. So it's easy to see when someone's on it like that. It's very nice and easy to see. If you wanted to, you could do a different border color. So if you wanted to have like this orange and then they hover over it, you can see it, but I really don't think it looks great with the border color. So I'm just gonna go and make it transparent in this case. And now we have our button set up. Now, if you wanted to, you can also add button text, shadow, and things like that. I'm going to just leave it as is, as the normal. You barely can see the difference, but submit looks a little bit different. When you change these, you can see it a little bit differently. I'm just going to leave it as is. And the other thing I wanted to change was the button border radius. So right now it says three. That's the little corners on the edges. If I wanted to change it, let's just make it 15. And you can see that the button shape changes so if you went up to around 20 or higher it's going to be more pill shaped but i'm going to go and leave it at 15 in this example and i'll just click on the check mark here to save the changes and then i'll go down here and save the changes again to make it actually go into effect so that wraps up the divi contact form module and i really just wanted to cover how to make a quick contact form that looks pretty good on your website and that's usable. People are going to be able to send you emails and you're going to be able to have some spam protection and just have a basic contact form that looks pretty good on your website. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe for more WordPress and Divi related tutorials if you're interested. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.